Jay. Guys, it's uh, uh, Thunder 20 here, and um, I'm going to do uh, my bat collection today. And um, first off, I got my BB Core bat. I got my uh, Easton, I think it's 2013-14 Reflex. Um, it's a drop 3, of course. It's made out of, um, uh, what's it? It's upside down. 750 aircraft alloy. Um, this is my BB core bat, you know. I use it I used it for middle school. It was a good bat. The only problem was never take your BB core bats to cages. It ruins their it ruins it cuz when I first got it, I was hitting pretty well with it. But uh as time went on, I, after I took it to the cage a couple times, it uh it's not as well. It's not as good. And uh, the hand watch have a normal one on. I need to get some new one because right here it's starting to come off. You can see a bit more over here. So that's something. Okay, well let's go hit with this one. Guys, we're hitting with the Eastman Reflex BB core. Okay, give it a shot. Okay, next we have the DeMarini Vexum. It's a 2013-14. I don't remember. I can't remember half the names. Um, it has a composite handle. It's a CX, C61, I think it's IX composite. And, it ha and the barrel is an X10 alloy. So it's thickness tuned aluminum. It's a 2 and 5 eighths barrel. It's a drop 10. So it's a 32-22. This bat did me well for how long I used it in travel. I used it maybe 12, 10 games. And then I got another bat, which was, I got a lot of bats. And it wasn't, it was good, it just lacked, there's only, if you hit it well, if you hit it in a good spot like right here, you would get a good hit. You'd get, you feel the trampoline. But if you didn't hit it well, like here or here, it, 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 there's just not a big sweet spot. Like. The first game with it, I hit about 230 foot double with it, but I mean, it, it's it's okay bat. And uh, I still got the normal grip, uh, as you can see right here, it's been fading and then all the way down. Yeah, it faded. But uh, it was a good bat for what I had it, and it was $90, so I got it for a deal. But uh, let's get to hitting it. Okay, we're now hitting with the Dean Rainey Vexel. Okay, now this is the bat that I use in games now. It is the 2014 Easton XL1. This bat, I have everything good about it. It is um, made out of, uh, it's a two-piece SIC black carbon handle with an IMX advanced composite barrel. It is a 3123 and 2 and 5.8, it's a drop 8. This bat is, I would recommend this to everyone. This bat is really good. Like, I was hitting, I hit one 260 with this. It was a shot, too. So, yeah, I would recommend this. But I, I the proof I have is, I take batting practice a lot. Not lately, because of uh, my, uh, how cold it is out here in Ohio. So, can't use composite. And, um, it, it was, I would be hitting, like, a warning track to the, to the fence I'm about 230 field. Once I started using this in batting practice, I was hitting them over the fence, getting a couple home runs each time we go out, maybe four, three, maybe even five on a day, depending on how well I felt. And I would recommend this bat to most people, but uh, that's just my opinion. But I would, I would imagine most people would love this bat. And I'll just go hit with it. Okay, now we're hitting with the 2014 Easton XL1. Okay, this is the Easton 2015 S3. Now I got this bat in the middle of the season. It's it's a two and three fourths 
HMX Hyperlight Matrix Alloy, 2 and 3 fourths barrel, 32 inches and 22 ounces, to drop 10. I would recommend this bat to most people. The only problem I have with it is the barrel. Now, I use this in a lot of games, and a couple games I found that I have some dents in it. Now, the dents do not have any effect whatsoever with how the bat performs. It was about a week after I got it, I found a dent, and it has nothing to do with it. That's the only problem I have with this bat. I hit about a 250, and it was at a green monster, and I hit the top of the wall. I thought it was gone. I hit it, and I started jogging. But this bat is really good, too. As you can see, I need to clean it up. This is the bat that I use in batting practice if I'm not using my XL1. But, yeah, I would recommend this bat. The only problem is it's uh, it dents easier. At least for me, it does. I don't know if it will for you. It's towards here, towards this part. But anything, if you hit it down here, you will feel it. It has a great sweet spot. Like, one of the best I've ever I've ever seen. I just fell in love with this bat the first time I ever used it. Now let's go see how well it hits. Okay, now we're hitting with the Easton 2015 XL1. Okay, now we're on to wood bat. This is my 29 inch, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's a youth Louisville Slogger, a 125 youth UBW. And this was before they got the new logo and everything. I got this as one of the messed up ones because I don't know if you can see, but the TPX and the Major League logo are messed up. And I still love this bat and I, I use 32 inch most pri primarily. And I had a science fair project, a couple last year and uh, I had to cork it so you can see I kind of mess around with this bat whenever I just want to you know go out there and mess around and hit it's really beat up I don't know if there's a dent right here big one some chipping this came from hitting I think no that was I, I don't know I did a lot of bad stuff with this bat and it's still ticking I had this one for a long time and you can see all of this on it yeah it's it's a killer let's go see how it hits now we're hitting with the Louisville Slugger Youth Bat, 29 inches. Okay, with the last bat of my collection, it is the Louisville Slugger Grand Slam. This bat is a 32, probably somewhere around a drop 3. And I also use this bat mostly for training. I mean, I've used it in practices for middle school. I mean, because you're allowed to use wood bats. I mean, it hits well. It's not the greatest wood bat you can get, but, um, you know, it, it's good. I mean, for the price it was, I think, it's pretty decent. And it hasn't broken yet. Yeah, it, it's, if you want a bat that you can just practice with, yeah, I would recommend this bat. It's just a bit. It's not like any Marucci bats, you know. It's that kind of stuff. It's just a bat that you can toy around with, you know. Just, you know, have it practice and not use it in a game. I wouldn't recommend it, but I mean, you could. Let's go see how it hits. Okay, now we're hitting with the Louisville Slugger Grand Slam Wood Bat. 32, probably dropped. 